I did something I thought I'd never do. Spend $200 on a polo shirt. Make a long story short. I've been really into polo shirts for quite a while, or anything besides a standard button-up just to spice things up, which inevitably got me flirting with vintage knit shirts. And I knew I wanted one when I saw Ray Liotta rock them throughout Goodfellas and DiCaprio and Catch Me If You Can. And when he said it was Italian knit, it all made sense to me. No wonder I like these things. This led me to an article on Put This On about Italian knits and what do you know, it started with Ray Liotta with this fella too. Italian it is really Italian. A post-war immigrant to the US which graced its way into the homes of non-Italians as well. Unfortunately, you see it more in films today than in real life, where they're either a wise guy or a dude enjoying a carefree life with zero Fs to give. Yeah, this speaks to me. I go on eBay looking for something cheap. I found it, but not in the way I wanted it. Cheap fabrics made of polyester from fat boomers wearing an extra large and a price that's not worth it for a shirt half a century old. But that article I was reading mentioned a new kit I've heard of around the block called Dopia. I immediately recognized their stuff from a picture I saved to my favorite Instagram page, Falco Butique Caivano. It was one of the coolest shirts I've seen. So what is Dopia? Well, it's a full-blown Italian brand started by Albert and Elaine Fracassi. I had a professor from Italy named Fracassi, crazy postmodernist, and we clashed. But I'm going off. There was a lot of rhetoric on that site talking high-quality clothes with great originality and stands for the love of detail from A to Z and the company's tireless search for raw materials. Dopia is needed. Because elegance is not something you explain, it is something you wear. Man, they're really trying hard to sell this to me. And I gotta admit, it does pull on my heartstrings with the whole Italianness, sartorial excellence, versatility and wearability, and all Mediterranean good taste, and a claim that, like all well-made objects of great beauty, dopia items last at least twice as long as normal. This whole craftsmanship they're preaching to me is what I search for and stand for. And there it is on Ukes. The last one. In my size. Then you're good. You're good. No. No. I don't. No. But I know how Italians work. They've really sold the world on the idea that Italian is also a synonym for quality. But I'm here to tell you, it's not always like that. A lot of times, but not always. And this claim that it lasts at least twice as long is something I'm going to try my hardest to put to the test. Let's get this straight. I never yes, buy things no, at full yes. price. But silver or lead? I took both, and I bit that bullet. $200 with the shipping and taxes. Damn near exactly. I don't wanna, but I'm expecting to return this. Probably gonna feel actually, I'm guessing a lot like my Eno shirt, thin and kind of ripping at the seams, which I freaking hate. Okay. Boy, was I wrong. This thing feels twice as thick and durable as any shirt I own. See this? I'll tell you, it did not feel cheap holding it, and it did not wear cheap either. The design is as perfect as the fit. Not wide and baggy, but not douchebag tight either. I prefer two types of collars on my polos, one piece or retro butterfly. And this collar was even cooler because it didn't go straight down, but crossed over itself in a way I've never seen before. I prefer my shirts with a bit of chest hair coming out of them, but here I didn't care. 
The blue and white V-neck shape was 3D and added some sick detail that made this feel so layered and complex. And the stitching, I mean if this thing wasn't sewn well enough, it had extra stitching on the armpits. You'd have to abuse the living shit out of it if you wanted it to fall apart on you. The stitching was so firm on the tag that it actually irritated my neck for a bit, but that went away. And hey, that's an okay price to pay, and I'll take it. But the best part was the vibes. I could already hear the greaser bangers playing. I felt like I was straight out of a Scorsese film with this thing. I could do anything. Hey Shane, how you doing? How you doing good. I could be chilling near the water, having a smoke and playing cards with the guys, or just working. When it comes to quality, the big main factors to something lasting long is fabric and stitching, and this nailed these two harder than a stake to Dracula's heart. So when it comes to that claim of lasting twice as long as normal, I can believe it. And hey, it's a classic style that you'll be fine wearing twice as long as normal too. So I'm guessing their philosophy isn't BS after all. Except for suggesting I buy two of the same thing. Maybe. But one thing you can bet on, I won't be needing that return label. <laughs>